Hey guys, how you doing? It's Mitch here. So I sent out a poll about a month and a half ago. I just got the results back on Saturday. So here on Monday, give me the results. So the question was, how do new cruisers waste money? Good question, right? Because even now, I saw some of the results. I was thinking, my gosh, I do that even now sometimes, right? So it's a really good poll to have. So the first thing is that the first one, the spending too much on excursions, right? Because you're excited, you know, you're kind of new to the game and everything else. And so sometimes people, they spend too much money on excursions. They try to get, they try to go everywhere within that six or seven, eight or eight hour time frame. It's just too much, you know. You have to either pace it out for yourselves, right? Maybe go to one or two or maybe one, right? Or sometimes even none. Like I told you before, for my second trip down the, to the Dominican Republic, um, I didn't need to go again. I saw it one time for me, that was enough. You know, one time was enough last year. So I didn't need to repeat the same thing again, you know. So I stayed on the ship and did other things, of course, right? So buying too many excursions is definitely a big hit for, uh, for, for new people on these excursions. Number two is this, is that, you know, a lot of people the first time, of course, they only book through the line. And many times, too, I really do want to say, though, is that we have to be cautious our first time. You understand that you want to book through the line. And I, I get that for security and safety and just being new, right? But there are some companies like Viator who are also very dependable, who I do like as well. Um, in all transparency, I haven't had a chance to promote Viator. I'm just telling you who they are. But I will in the future because I do like them. But for this video here, I'm not promoting anybody. I'm just saying that Viator is also a good option besides the cruise line themselves to book. Because they are also in contact with a lot of good, uh, well-researched, uh, independent, uh, private um, companies who take you on, on world tours as well. You know, So they can compete with Princess. They can compete with Royal Caribbean. They can compete at a cheaper price. Okay? The drink package. <laughs> this is, <laughs> I got so many people who talked about the drink package. I mean, I'm laughing because some things that were saying were, I can't repeat on YouTube. <laughs> I have my channel shut down, right? But one guy was saying, unless you drink 12 a day, you know, <laughs> you don't have any need to use a drink package. I thought that was kind of funny, right? But again, you know, we're all different, right? It depends, you know. I don't drink at all, so I have no need for a drink package whatsoever, uh, nor does my wife, so we don't use the drink package at all. But um, some folks, they think they can drink 12 a day, so that's what they do, you know. So one lady said it does. She says, you know, even if you buy a drink package, maybe get eight drinks a day for like a 10-day uh, cruise, do you really want to drink 80 drinks, you know? And that was a good point she made, you know, just for a basic health reason, right? So, but then some folks, man, they, they buy a drink package and they give their friend or their loved one a couple of drinks, whatever, you know, who knows, right? So here's the thing. The people who answered my poll said this. Be careful of the drink packages and what you think you can or cannot drink so you don't miss the enjoyment of a cruise. I thought that was a good point, you know, because you spend all this money on the cruise, right? You spend thousands of dollars to go on a cruise. You spend a few hundred for your drink package, and you're so drunk you can't enjoy the other cruise. You know, that's a good point there, right? So be careful for your drink package. Make sure you can handle it. Number, number four was another lady said, the soft drink package, right? She said that she had to drink like three or four soft drinks, or what, one soft drink, soft drink every three or four hours to get her money's worth. And so... She said she would never do that again. And again, now this is the individual basis, right? Whatever you like to do is your choice, of course. But for new people, just make sure you understand the mathematical rationale of your drink packages, okay? Otherwise, you are going to waste your money on something you're not even going to use. Just be smart about that. Measure it out. See, if I'm on a seven-day trip, do I need 30 drinks a day or whatever, right? <laughs> Measure it out like you would any other expense you have coming at you. Think about it. That's all you got to do, guys. Bringing your own drinks. You know, a lot of people don't even ask that question. But a couple right off the top of my head. Disney allows you to bring, I think it's two, right, guys? Let me know. Two wine, unopened, I think it is. Also, Royal Caribbean also allows, I think, one. So you guys who know these things more than me, double check. Put in the comments down below. And make sure everybody gets the information because remember, we are not a channel. We are a community here. We're going to help on each other about the rules, the regulations, and so on and so forth, right? So right now that we're talking about how to save money for new people on these cruises. So 
double check if you could bring your own alcohol, you know, maybe one bottle or two for you on the trip. This will save you some money because alcohol on the ship costs a lot more, right? So therefore, ask the cruise line you're going to go on. Say, hey, can I bring my own bottle of wine or a beer or whatever, okay? Make sure you inquire before you hop on that ship, okay? The, I call it the utility bag, right? So I have uh, links down below that go to um, Amazon links where you can make sure you bring your own stuff on the cruise. What do I mean by that? I mean that you can put in your own little medicine in there, your sunscreen in there, your toothbrush in there. You want to bring things that are going to avoid getting yourself nickeled and dimed on the ship. Yeah, they have Tylenol, they have aspirin, they have whatever on the cruise ship for you in anticipation you will come there to them and spend the four or five times over the real cost of that product now i have the stuff down below where just buy the little bag you know bring it with you put all your stuff in there and you can save easy money that way you know from band-aids to whatever right because all the time on the cruise ship someone's going to come to you and say hey do you have a tylenol do you have this a benadryl do you have cc whatever they're going to ask you because they didn't bring it themselves so we always bring extra because people always ask us and we know this already. So it's fine. We help each other out. It's no big deal. But I'm saying, though, for your convenience, you know, say at one o'clock in the morning, you don't feel very well. Well, you know, you got to kind of take care of yourself, right? I'll go out there and spend that 30 bucks without one pill. <laughs> no, not, not 30, but you understand my, my, my idea here is that. So bring a ditty bag, you know, bring it back full of stuff for yourself. You know, understand you need these things. For yourself and also to you guys remember this video is about saving money you don't want to spend you know 10 bucks for some silly nonsensical item you could have bought at target you could buy online on amazon you could have bought somewhere right you don't need to buy that stuff on the ship it doesn't make sense okay not everybody but certain types of credit cards will give you certain types of bonuses for cruises for miles for things you use you know i mean it's just you want to look up, if you have a credit card right now and you're in decent standing, you know, I'll call up your bank and ask them, you know, if I apply for this credit card, can I apply towards cruises or whatever, right? And a lot of times here, too, guys, you want to really, I know it's old-fashioned, but you really want to call the bank or sit down with them because I see a lot of these online offers, you know, and once you go for that offer for that credit card, it's not what they said it, it was in the fine print, right? So when it comes to credit cards, I go old school. I want to see your face when I'm talking to you at the bank. I want to hear you tell me what's going to go on with this card. I want to know what kind of miles I can get and bonuses for this card and so on and so forth, right? Everything else I don't care about being automated. I'm, I'm, I'm all down for that. It's great, whatever. But not when it comes time to using a credit card for cruises, for miles, for hotel stays, for car rentals, right? You want to make sure you don't hurt yourself with this credit card and make sure you get the right credit card for your cruise lines. I have one that I use now just for my cruises, you know, use it for travel, whatever, you know, I use that just for that, right? And I went to the uh, bank manager, we talked for like half an hour about how I can use this. And so I really recommend to you guys, I know we have all this great, you know, phone call stuff, automation here and there, it's fantastic. I love it myself, I love it a lot actually. But when it comes down, down, down to using a credit card, and saving you some money, you know, I want you to go to the bank yourself, talk to your person in person, and ask them, how can this new credit card, or how can that credit card I have now, save me money for future cruises? I mean, it can save you money on the plane trip over there, right? Save you money on the cruise itself. Save you money in a million ways, right? But you have to inquire to save money. You have to ask, okay? The spa treatment on the ship. I see this time and time again, but I can't say anything, right? This was my suggestion to my to the poll I sent out, right? Here's the deal for a spa treatment. People walk in there, you know, they'll pay like 200 bucks for maybe like a 60 or 75 minute spa treatment. They laugh because it doesn't make any sense, right? Here's the deal for, for these things. They go on sale. When do they go on sale? Two times. Usually they go on sale when they go into port. Why? Because everybody's leaving the to the port, right? Everybody's disembarking. They want to see the city or the beach, whatever, right? That means business is going to be very low for the spas, right? That's when you want to see what the prices are, correct? Don't go in there before that or after that. When people disembark, that's what you want to see. Hey, is there a good deal for a spa? Second item here. The last one or two days on the cruise, 
but prices are going to go down as well then because people are getting ready to disembark. They're doing this or doing that, right? A lot of folks are not even thinking about the spa at that time, right? But that's when you want to go and inquire. There's no need to spend 200 bucks for a 60 minute spa where you can spend like maybe 120, 130 when they go to port. Understand? Same way too when they go the last one or two days of that cruise. That's when you want to inquire about your spa, all right? Jewelry. Yeah, I know people got to have business. They need a business to run things. I understand that. No personal thing against people running a jewelry business on a ship. Uh, but it's your choice to buy or not to buy, you know? But, I mean, <laughs> diamonds are diamonds. Uh, jewels are jewels, you know? They're always going to be there. Uh, you will be paying uh, more money, typically, uh, than you would on a, 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 a non-ship environment for that jewelry, right? So... Again, it's fine. You spend your money how you want to spend your money. This video here is about saving money, right? So I recommend you don't buy that jewelry on the ship, on any ship, because it's going to cost more. Now, if you want to, go ahead. Fantastic. I'm telling you, though, from my experience, though, that same item you see can be bought at any jewelry store, not on a ship, you know, right? So you just got to be careful how you spend your money. Now, now some people don't care. They want to experience, say, hey, I want to buy this. This crystal on this ship, because it's a very important memory for us to have. Ah, beautiful. Go for it, right? But this video is about saving money on your cruise ship. Okay, so, okay. these last two are technology. But before we go, please subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate that. You know, when I first started, we had 98% of people would come to the channel, look at the video, take notes, and they go away and don't subscribe. I would have had 2% who subscribe. Now I have... Now I have um, 89% of people look at the video, take notes, and they go away. Now we have 11% of people who subscribe. So please subscribe to my channel. I really would appreciate that. Thank you very much, right? Because we want to grow our community, right? This is our community. This is very important for us. So two things technology-wise. The first one is your phone. Put that phone in airplane mode, okay? Put it in airplane mode because AT&T, T-Mobile, Mint, whatever, they will love you. If you do not put your plane in airplane mode, because you're going to come back owing them maybe tuition for their child's college, right? <laughs> you're going to owe a lot of money. Put the phone in airplane mode. Number two is this. Now, again, it's your choice, right? We do not buy photo packages, right? I mean, the technology of these phones here is amazing. It's amazing. This is a 12, so this phone's amazing, right? I don't have a need to buy an airplane package because... I'm in an airplane, a cruise ship photo package, because we just ask a friend or ask somebody there to, hey, take, take a photo of us, you know, and they do it for us. At that point, too, I didn't take it. I have the technology to make it nicer, neater, whatever I want to do, you know, and and you guys probably know by now I love taking photos of my wife. I, I, I enjoy seeing her happy on the cruises and seeing her in her beautiful outfits, you know, or just having fun, too, you know. I, I really enjoy that, so... Um, we don't have a need for these professional photographers, you know, charge us three, four, five hundred bucks for a, a photo that an iPhone can do just as well. Okay. Now, again, these are people's businesses. I understand that. Somebody has a business to take photos on ships. I get that. That's fine. I have no problem with that. Princess, whoever it is, uh, Royal Caribbean, whatever, right? That's their deal. And I understand that. But the intent for this video is how to save you guys money, right? So it's my job to tell you, right? how to save money for your cruise. And buying photo packages is something I don't support for anybody because you can do the same thing with what you have in your hand every day, your, your phone, okay? So you guys, I hope you got something out of this. It's, the intent is not to, uh, not to be cheap or assault the cruise lines. The intent is to save you guys who are in my community money on your first, second, or third, fourth, tenth cruise, whatever, right? It's all about trying to save money because the more money you save, the more fun you're going to have and the more things you can spend the money on other stuff, right? So just be careful with your cash, okay? You guys have a good day. Take care. Bye-bye.